if you've ever purchased a home as a family, there's a couple of things you kind of do on the front end of purchasing that home. I can remember getting on that MLS or on the website and looking for our first home and immediately the first thing that I put in to those categories was our max price. Now, oftentimes my wife would try to argue that price up a little bit, but always the first thing that I would put in was max price. Here's what we can afford at this stage of our life. After we put in that max price, we would put in other parameters. Hey, number of bedrooms, number of bathrooms, a school zone that we preferred, a location that we thought was best for our families. And then here's what would happen. All of those parameters, or we could call them boundaries, whittled all those homes down in our area that fit our need and were proper for our budget. Man, as you go on the sport journey, one of the first boundaries you have to create as a family to protect both you and your children in the future is you have to create a financial boundary. One of the things, one of the most tragic things I've seen in the sport journey today is that we begin down this road and we have so much fear of our child being behind or not enough opportunity being taken that we begin to spend money we don't have for an outcome we don't know that is going to happen. And so as a family, one of the things that I encourage families to do is really to sit down and create a budget for the sport journey and ask the question, Two main questions I believe are super important as we create this financial boundary, and they're really, really simple. Hey, how much are we willing to spend? Simply sitting down as a family and saying, hey, how much are we willing to spend? And then the second question I often ask is this, how early are we willing to spend it? For my family and I, we have chosen to, hey, let's spend less early so that if opportunity presents itself, we would have the funds to spend that money later. And so wherever you're at today, here's what I would encourage you to do. Man, sit down with your family and decide, hey, based on what we're trying to accomplish and where we're going, knowing what God wants us to do, how can we create a financial boundary that doesn't limit our child but protects our family so that we know that we're doing what God wants us to do and we're protected for the future? I believe this, that financial boundary might just liberate you from making some mistakes that many people make on the athletic journey.